can I make now someone else presenter? Uh, yeah, uh, well, I, I will do it, no problem. Okay. Hi. All right, good luck. Thanks. So, yeah, my name is uh, Julian Carbonet, and I'm a French um, researcher in uh, urban science. I'm trying to uh, observe the um, citizen engagement in smart city. And so this is why I chose this, this uh, model, the voting model. Okay, um, I'm, I'm using two computers uh, because the laptop uh, has a camera and a microphone, but the, the, it's not good to code, so I'm using another one. And it looks like I can you share me the screen on the other other name, please? Other Julian, I I maybe. Oh yeah, thank I, you. I can. Thank uh... you. Great, perfect. So share, yes. You can see my screen, right? So, uh, yes, that's the voting model. And so this model uh, can represent different kinds of a real life situation. When you start, you can see that you have different cells. Uh, green and blue cells, which can represent um, a population divided between two opinions. It can be like if you are um, for or against one proposition, or for example, if you are a Mac or a Windows user or anything else like that. And all agents in the model update their opinion at the same time. Um, and the uh, old cell is surrounded by eight neighbors. It's, it's what we call a more, a more neighboring. So the basic idea behind the model is that each cell will um, make his decision of voting depending on the majority uh, of opinions around him. So, for example, let's say one, uh, one cell has uh, five, so one cell is green and it has five blue neighbors and three green neighbors. So he will switch to the blue, uh, blue voting. Yeah. And then, so that's something. Uh, we can, when we run the model, you can see that the structure of opinion are very fastly uh, in 27 times being stable. So to observe it, we can make it a bit slower. So to observe the phenomena. And so you can see that it takes some turns for the pattern to, to emerge and the opinion to stabilize. So there is something interesting as well uh, to know is that when there is an equality with these parameters, when there is an equality in your neighboring uh, votes, it means uh, around you, you have four uh, blue and four green. So at that moment, you just don't change your opinion anymore. Yeah. And this is what, uh, what allows this kind of stability. There is a moment where um, either you have a surrounding, uh, either you have a majority of, of opinion in your surrounding and so you stuck to the majority or either you don't have any majority and so you stuck to your, to your preview state. And if we change exactly this kind of uh, parameter here, change vote if tight. So we will put an on here. And what will happen at that moment is that when you have uh, the same number of neighbors that are blue or green, uh, let's say four and four. So at that moment, you will change your opinion. And let's see what happens. I will make it a bit faster. So you see on the borders, borders are not really like uh, stabilizing themselves. Uh, let's say if we accelerate the process, 
you will see it's never stabilizing. It stays in a constant uh, vibrating um, position. So uh, we can see the clusters. So the structure of opinions are here, they are stable. But then at the border, there is a vibration that shows that the bordering agents are constantly changing their opinion uh, and it never stops. It can run like that, uh, like uh, infinitely. Yeah. We'll stop it here. Then we can try something else. Oh, a setup. Yeah, something I didn't told you when you when you run a setup, you have a randomly distributed um, number of of uh, blue and green. So this is typically uh, like what happens in real life. And then when you run the model. Yeah, each time you run it, uh, the, the structures of opinion are distributed differently. Yeah, so we cannot predict from the initial states what will be the final position of, of any cell. Right? And so here we will we will play with some other parameter. It's called award close calls to loser. It means that you will systematically choose the position of the minority in your surrounding. So let's say when you will have five blue neighbors and three green neighbors, so you will turn green because you always take the position of the minority around you. And so let's see what, what, what gives this, this state. Yeah. So you see what happens? Basically, yeah, clusters are emerging the borders keep changing, it never stops changing, but somehow with time the clusters are becoming bigger and bigger. It means like people look to yeah being closer of their... Ah, it's interesting. I haven't seen that before. It looks like the blue is taking the whole, uh, the whole world. And this is probably what will happen if we go faster. Yeah, amazing. So you see here you have the number of blue patches and the green patches. It used to be um, balanced at the beginning, but now it looks like when the majority, yeah, when when the majority is taken by one color, probably it's not possible to for for the minority to to get back to uh, to an initial state. So let's stop it here. It's interesting. We can check here. The, the shape of, of smaller clusters, okay? But this is not exactly what I wanted to show, so maybe we'll start again. We can control here that we have similar numbers of blue and green. And so we will run the model like that. And yes, so the structures of opinion are distributed in, uh, in bigger in bigger hubs. Okay, this time again, it looks like the the one color green this time is taking the, the advantage. Okay, so it will probably result in in a, in a monochrome, uh, monochrome distribution. Okay, great. So <clears throat> that's something. Um, let's get back to the initial uh, initial states. And so, yeah, what I would like to try uh, later uh, when I will uh, go into the code for the next step, it will be to change the, um, the starting point, the starting distribution, for example, with an imbalance uh, between blue and green patches. This is something. And um, also, I wanted to show you something else. It was about... Ah yes, if we zoom in to understand how to understand how it works, how um, the stabilization happens, we have to slow down the model and to check, for example, a small cluster. So let's check this one, the blue one. Okay, the the small blue one at the center. Why isn't it running? Okay. 
So what we can understand from the from the initial position from the setup is that in the places where you have a majority of blue, obviously it will keep blue and the surrounding will will become blue as well because it's the majority rule. But so yeah, even if we can predict what will be the color of a local position like that. We cannot really predict what will be the final position of, of most structures. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that's more or less uh, what I wanted to tell you about this model. Um, I'm up for questions if you have anything to ask. Maybe we can make it move in the meantime okay well it seems like there are no questions um it's a very interesting model that it actually uh shows quite some interesting uh patterns yeah that abn can show um so you talked about extending the model exactly what were your um ideas about that so there are first there are two things uh, that i would like to try uh, they are typical issues in democratic uh, regimes uh, they are called you have uh, the condorcet paradox and you have the tyranny of the majority and so those two very old political concepts uh, the first one comes from uh, the late 18th century um, it's the marquis of condorcet which uh, understand this and so it's called the condorcet paradox because he said if he said that in in democratic regimes even if the population has the choice it will always result in the same um re it will yeah the system will always bring the same results so sometimes left sometimes right sometimes left sometimes right but there is a circular uh repetition of opinions which makes like the population could theoretically change the whole game but the game is not changing that much and so this is interesting uh in the time where we are trying to innovate in society to produce some so yeah to break some rules to make it better to make to improve the the the, the political games etc but we are somehow sometimes we have this feeling that we are stuck in this position of of paradox where uh, we have the choice but the, cho the 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 choices are always the same yeah and so this is something and there is another um, famous um, thing called the tyranny of the majority and the tyranny of the majority says that basically it's always the same people that are a bit marginal in the in the voting position or in their ideas or opinions and so it's always the same people that are not represented in the majority and so it results in a problem uh, of radicalization of of uh, such voters so yeah uh, there is a moment where if you think something and you are really convinced that that you are that you are you are true you are right in your in your choices but somehow the democracy never allows you to try your your ideas there is a moment where you say okay i don't trust them anymore i don't need them i will do my thing by my stuff uh, by, by my own yeah so uh, that's another issue in democratic regimes uh, which we call the tyranny of the majority uh, because it's always the same majorities that decide for for the same minorities somehow and yeah i will try to to go in the code in order to to check some some things like that Okay, thank you. I think there's a question in the chat as well. Yeah, I can check it. Is it possible to have more than two groups? Very good suggestion. I haven't tried yet, but uh, as soon as I will go in the code, I will definitely try to to yeah to simulate uh, different different groups and let's see what happens. All right. I actually had one more question, just yeah. more in general about the model, because it stops at a certain amount of ticks, but that is random, of course. It yeah. depends on the environment. But what is exactly the um, the reason why it stops? Is it because it, it reaches a 
steady state or yes yeah, so there are two two position we in the most simple model uh, it stops because it's stable so it means like everything is balanced and uh, the borders are created and uh, people um, yeah respect the majority rule in the in their voting and then when you go on, uh, so we've seen that uh, there are ways to make the system unstable, constant unstable. So somehow we can say that this second state is stable, but it's vibrant. So it's a sort of, yeah, uh, unbalanced uh, stability. Yeah. And um, if we go to the other one, yeah, it looks like the stability goes when all the all the screen turns either blue or green so at that moment the system will stop because everyone is is just uh, yeah um, on the same opinion yeah. so these are the all right thank you you're welcome